hi welcome to your second tutorial of for CSCI 130 introduction to programming now we are going to access Visual Basic and what um, what you can do if you're using Molinero the lab in Molinero 115 when you log in into the machine they will offer you three options there are three images be sure that you use the one that says business lab image to get the software the software is installed in that if when you go there the computer is already in a different image that is I think geography or uh, main lab you can see the type of image because there is a background in the in the desktop that says main lab image business image or geography so it, it, if it's already in a different image what you need to do is shut down the computer and restart it and when you restart the computer it will give you an option of selecting one of the images so be sure that you select the business one okay so what we're gonna do and, and, and over there they are running windows xp so this is a windows xp machine so you're gonna click on a start and then we click where it says all programs and then you search what it says Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 Express and then it says Microsoft Visual Basic 2010 Express then we click on that and then we wait and um, this is loading the IDE to run Visual Basic uh, programs so we're waiting and waiting okay so this is still loading you should get a screen that looks like that okay then we're gonna click where it says new project and then uh, <coughs> it will give you options so you click where it says windows form application then we click ok and then we wait one more time ok hopefully yours doesn't take that long you have it on your own computer in a faster computer okay okay <coughs> then you should have something that looks just like what I have on my screen what I'm gonna do first is to save it so I'm gonna click on file and then I'm gonna say uh, save all and then it's uh, asking me for a name so I'm gonna call this uh, tutorial 2 and then I'm gonna save it there so be sure that you save it first so you find a location of where you wanna save it now what we're doing is we want to create a <coughs> interface a, a graphical user interface that looks like the one on page 69 from your textbook figure 3.30 so there is a calculator there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the form and we you see around the form there are some dots that we call control points and then we're gonna resize it in a way in a way that we think it looks good now when we click on the form on your screen on the right hand side corner there is something that says properties so you see it says form 1 we're gonna change the title so we're looking for text I mean it says text and then it says form 1 so we're gonna change it so on the figure it says calculator so we type in calculator so notice how that changes over there now it says that for the screen we're gonna have a text box so we're gonna go where it is and look for the text box on the toolbox on your 
left hand side on the screen so I'm looking for the text box right here and then um, put it in a way that looks like a screen okay and you notice there is a zero on there so I'm gonna click on the text box and look for text and then I'm gonna type zero and then I'm gonna go back now you see the zero is on the left hand side and on the figure is on the right hand side so I'm gonna change and look for click on this and look for text alignment it says left I'm gonna change it where it says right so now look at how the zero is in the right hand side of the text box now we need uh, to find some containers for the buttons so I'm gonna go and look for a panel so click on that on your toolbox and then we're dragging here so this will contain my buttons and then I need another panel from here for the uh, operators I think that's what I see so I'm gonna put that there oops so I'm gonna click again on my panel let me see what is it here so I'm gonna click on this there and then I need another one for the clear button so I'm gonna get another panel right here there okay and that's it okay so now what we're gonna do is look for a button and for the keys here so I'm gonna put it there in a way that I like it I'm gonna change the text for uh, one now I need several of those so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select it I'm gonna right click I'm gonna say copy and then I'm gonna paste it so I have another one that looks like this then I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna paste another one there now I got those I'm gonna change the one here for a two and then on the other one I'm gonna change the one for a three there so I now need to repeat that for uh, let me see if I have it in the way that I like it yeah, I think they're okay so I'm gonna select all those three buttons I'm gonna right click I'm gonna copy gonna paste it and put it in a way that I think it looks okay I'm gonna do the same one more time I'm gonna paste it there so this will be my number four let me see what is the text text okay so this is number four okay this is number five I think I didn't do a good yeah one two three four so this is number six six okay now we need number seven so I'm changing the property for text so I'm typing a seven now I'm changing this for uh, number eight and then we got one more for a uh, number nine okay so now I need to copy one like this I'm gonna paste it again and that will be the zero here changing that and then I need another one so I paste it again and this is about the size so I'm gonna drag the points over here and instead of a seven they had two zeros zero zero there now something else that I see they change the border style on the panel so I'm gonna click on the panel and look on the border style it says none and then what it says fix 3d I'm gonna change to fix 3d okay now it looks like that I will add now buttons on the second panel so I need another button this for the plus sign so they got something like this so we change in the text again and I'm putting a plus sign there okay 
and uh, I'm gonna copy one of these again let's say control C or right click and select copy and then we're gonna go over here and say paste it and I will change that for a uh, minus so the text change that and put a minus then now on the I need to paste another one so we pasted the times so here is times okay I need one more paste it so we need that for the division mm, we need two more buttons so paste it when I'm pasting I'm just being sure that my buttons are all the same size and they have one more over here there okay so for this they have a decimal point there so we type a dot and for this they have an equal sign okay so we change the text property there with an equal sign and again I'm gonna go over the panel and I'm gonna change the border style to fix 3d now for the next part they got two more buttons so we're gonna go and have here two buttons about this size so the first one has an uppercase C okay I'm gonna copy right click and copy gonna paste it now this is a C and uh, the division symbol and an uppercase A right there I don't think they are aligned there looks better let's change the select the panel go over it says border style click fix 3d okay and we need another button so I'm gonna right click on that because I want it to be that size it says copy and then we're gonna paste it so we put it over here right here and this is the off button okay so right now we're just building an interface there now we're gonna press the key F5 and we're gonna see this interface then we're gonna minimize and this is what you see now you are free if you want to I think that doesn't look that nice I think in the figure they got all these buttons closer so we can rearrange but I think this is okay this is this is all the time that I have for this tutorial in the next one i will show you how to actually have the to paste this in the uh, word document and to post it in your um, in the discussion session for d12 so this is this is it for right now so please check the next tutorial for the instructions on how to post it okay thank you so